Developing news, the terrorist takeover of that natural gas facility in Algeria has come to a deadly end tonight. Algeria's military moving in with a fierce assault on the hostage takers, leaving many dead, including at least 23 hostages, one American among them. There are still other Americans unaccounted for. And for the first time since it began four days ago, we're getting a look inside the terrible ordeal. These images broadcast on Algerian TV reportedly showing workers held at the compound by a man in military fatigues there and of hostages kneeling in the sand with their hands in the air. And this new video tonight reportedly shot by workers as they escape through the desert, passing by bodies along the way. In a moment here, the stories of survival now coming into us, but we begin here with ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, tonight. The Algerian Army's third and final assault this morning recaptured the BP-run facility, but left many of the hostages dead, apparently executed by the terrorists. Over the four-day siege in the middle of the Sahara Desert, the final hostage death toll was put by Algerian officials at 23. For our people in Algeria, for their family and their friends, has been and continues to be a distressing and horrific time. At least two Americans remain unaccounted for, and one American has been confirmed as killed. 58-year-old Fred Butasio of Katy, Texas, a suburb of Houston. Survivors said the attackers focused only on Americans and Westerners, including a large British contingent. We believe that there are five British nationals and one UK resident who are either deceased or unaccounted for. The good news was that most of the approximately 100 Western workers were freed or escaped. Algerian TV aired what it said was home video taken by one hostage as he escaped across the desert. Very, very relieved to be out. Among those who also got out was Mark Cobb of Corpus Christi, Texas, described as the BP senior manager at the facility. The Algerian military said it killed at least 32 of the terrorists, their bodies displayed today on Algiers TV. Officials said they were heavily armed with automatic weapons and explosive-packed suicide belts and were preparing to blow up the natural gas facility. As Algerian tanks and special forces surrounded the plant, Officials said they had no choice but to go in with guns blazing, even after the U.S. and other governments had asked the Algerians to hold off out of concern for the safety of the hostages. The Algerians' position has always been, we don't negotiate, we don't mess around. The official Algerian news agency says the terrorists began to execute the remaining hostages as the Algerian army moved in. Now the focus will shift to the presumed mastermind of this attack, the one-eyed rogue leader of the Al-Qaeda-connected terror group, Mokhtar Bel Mokhtar. David, he has now made himself one of the most wanted men in the world.